Last we met our crew, Zephyr, the ace of our druid, Odin, the human cleric, Jackal, the shifter fighter, Callisti, the tabaxi wizard, Rowan, the tiefling ranger, and Elric, the goliath fighter. They had just thwarted a summoning of a devil-like entities under the thrall of Marthane. Before this, they were enjoying some more of the festival. Jackal demolished the competition while stuffing his face with dwarven pies. Well, some, well, half of the party decided uh, to follow a lost puppy, sniff out some clues for the missing pages of Dulcieta's spellbook. After Jackal's victory and some fantastic uh, nose work by our new companion Hades, they all convened as the pups party on the pups party as Rowan had spotted a dwarger speaking in speaking an incantation in Infernal. Now, after the, after the fight, a group of the Grunken Squad, who seem to have survived a similar battle, have made their way to the recovering group. And as you see, coming from the north are a, are a set of four heavily armored figures. Uh, some of them look worse for wear than others. A couple of them are limping. Uh, definitely a lot of fresh blood on their maces, or their flails. And they seem to have heard the commotion and started running, but you guys had thwarted the problem before they were able to arrive. Are you all right? Well, I've been better, been worse. Uh, player to DM uh, from my screen, there is a large black square. Huh? What do you all see? I see I see the map. I see the map as it was last time. I think just yeah. restart your re roll yeah. twenty. You might need yeah, to restart your edge. I might just have to do that. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes, it seems that uh, several cultists of Marthane decided to try to crash the party. Unfortunately they forgot that we are so well trained. I thank you, group, for saving, well, who you could. Yes, it just wasn't any problem at all. We were just happy to help and even get here on time thanks to, and he points at the dog behind him, this little fella. We were tracking down some important information. He just happened to lead the way. <laughs> he kind of pads. He kind of pads a little bit around you. And just kind of looks. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot him like fucking seven feet. I'm sorry. I kind of just reach over and scoot him back because I'm a little stunned by the voice. The whole whatever's going on over there. So I just kind of scoot him back and stare. Yeah, Jackal looks over to Brock. He'll just simply say, "Uh, Brock." Why does your voice sound different from what I'm used to hearing? It's... Did you get hit too hard? By the <sighs> guy? No, but I do owe you all a story a little bit later after this. And a drink. Well, That's of fair. I point my finger to Rowan. That's says what she says. I thought you didn't drink. I don't, but usually drink comes with food, right? Of course it does. Um, oh, and um, Elric will look over at the Grunken Squad. How did the other parts of the city fare? Were there more insurrections? There were several groups, just like the, uh, I'm assuming, the ones that you, uh, that you had thwarted as well. But we took care of them. The guard was uh, especially aware and the squad is always on guard. Good thing we had the Dreadic Riders to spot the uh, to spot for us. And as you look up, there are uh, now several people drive or uh, riding wyverns uh, through the skies, uh, pointing out. Uh, you see, uh, anybody with a halfway decent passive can see that they are pointing in several spots, and uh, and they and then you'll see uh, different. You'll just hear fl uh, actually you see a couple flares pop up. Of different colors, uh, one green and two red. 
Ah, is that anything good? Bad? The green means they all survived. The red means they have injured. Black is the last thing we are supposed to do as the last member of the squad. Ah. None of the city was touched, correct? It's for the rest of it. One small but... fire. But we took care of it. It's <sighs> reassuring to the very least. And, uh, do any of you have healing capabilities? We could use some over at the uh, Red Flares. Uh, Odin will raise his hand. like, yes! I can heal. Come, take me to your injured. And they will... Uh, gonna scoot off. And the other three will, uh, just kinda begin to kinda just take a survey of the area. Looks like you all fought well. We did our best. It was Callisti here who stopped the summoners or the key points over the direction where the cultists were from continuing more of their uh, magic doohickey thing. So, she definitely deserved the praise. We were just trying to slow down that big hulking creature. Brock, still, that thing was bigger than you. <laughs> um, you may want to stop calling me Brock for now. It's Elric. Is that your... Mercenary alias now? No, it's my real name. Brock was one of the... Ah, uh, so Brock was the alias and Elric is your name. Huh. Oh, Rick Storm Smasher, and he'll hold out his hand. It's a pleasure to meet you. What? At least in a more reasonable terms, meet anyway. Unfortunately, Jackal is going to incite Brock, or Elric in this case, and see if this is actually a prank that he's pulling on him. I mean, go ahead. Oh. oh, I did not mean to do that. No worries. GM, let me... Uh, should I re-roll again so you can see it? No, it's fine. Uh, it's a 14. Yeah, roll... Persuasion? I mean, it's not really... I'm not trying to lie to him, but... That's why it's Persuasion? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a nine. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how to roll this. Yeah, no, he's not lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, James. Jackal just kind of moves very closely. Shake, attempts to shake his hand. Was like, are you sure it's not really a prank? I mean, maybe you got like another... No, I can assure you as something I will explain later is more reasonable to have an alias for other reasons. So all the drinking and yahooing kind of stuff attitude you had as a soldier is just an alias, or is that actually real? It's part. It's partially real. In order to fit in with the crowd, one must act the part. Though I still do enjoy a good draft. Okay. Who wouldn't? So you still owe me a blanket, a sleeping roll. That we'll worry about. Some other time. Yeah. And I just kind of walk over Clisty and pat her on the head again. It's like, look, stop worrying. I can kind of understand killing somebody is not normal. Actually, no, it is not normal. But you saved people, so I think that's a good benefit there. Um, okay. And I think that thing would have absolutely taken me out if it wasn't for you, so I appreciate it. And Jackal will hop onto that exactly as like, you see, if you didn't stop those cultists, we would have lost Zephyr and many more good people out here. Uh, damn, Odin's better at, uh, he's better at doing all this cheering up the people stuff. Alright, but, uh... Points to Brock, or rather Elric. So, Elric. Yes. No, just making sure, because that sounds really weird. You get used to it. Though I've been Brock for so long that 
sometimes I go by both. It's confusing, but... Right. Mm. Uh, the Grunken, one of the Grunken Scrawl members are within ear's reach, right? Yeah, he's right there. Okay, so... You see him, uh, he's inspecting the damage to the building. I want to take a look around. Is only the Grunken Squad in this area, or are there any... Uh... Roll a perception check as you look around. Yes. Uh, make sure that's on public. Yeah. No, uh, you see... only see the uh, the three Grunken Squad. Um, it seems you've been a fighter before. There are the fighters, and there are people that control the civilians. These are probably yeah. the fighters. The, the regular guard will probably be wrangling civilians that's fine uh jackal does want to confer this information though at least to uh the four here since odin is missing so uh what did you guys find before um he points over to the circle of now smoldering ashes of leftover cultists and innocent people before <laughs> things went uh pear shape there is a Druger here that was a part of the summoning circle as well, but I had taken him, uh, taken him out in relatively fast time, though he had, did seem to at least know of my clan. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Well, I won the eating contest. Not really a big surprise there. Clissy, did you notice anything because I was stuffing my face? Um, Callisti, like, for a second, like, she shakes her head and just kind of is just like, wait, what? Um, I'm sorry, what? I'm just trying to figure out if maybe we can compare all notes. I know I wasn't that very helpful, just eating my, stuffing my face, but I was hoping you and Odin may have noticed something while I was eating and you were in your new current attire. Oh, um, uh, remember the guy from last night? The one that wanted to offer us 3,000 gold? Yes, uh, Trench Everstone? Yeah, that was the name. He was <laughs> paying a lot of attention when we said our, my last name, and he, um, remember the two guys that were next that I think dropped out pretty early? The, the twins? Uh, one dropped out quickly, the other one was my last opponent for the eating contest. Yeah, those guys, they, um, they went over and talked to him afterwards, and they were kind of similar to the ones we fought here. Jack was going to think for a brief moment, and then he's going to put a few things, or a theory together, since not really much of the intellect side, but... I mean, uh, there is a possibility that that job he wanted to pay us for was. She kind of motions <laughs> grimly. He did, say, he did say smuggling people in. Or was it out? No, he said out. You're right. Uh. Oh, crud. Could he. I'm going to. Very cautiously go over to the Grunken Squad member and ask, uh, is there maybe a list of people's credentials that we may be able to find or you guys may know? There mm -hmm. is, but you are civilian. Right, um, possible suspect, maybe. It's a hunch. We're uh, not just... Callisti <clears throat> kind of steps up. We're not just commoners that happen to be in the right place at the right time. We're working with Delciana on something that affected the castle, and it's need-to-know basis, I'm afraid. That's how we ended up here. This She motions to the other, you know, the uh, to Hades and everyone. They were following one lead, and we were following another, and we kind of ended up here, so it's related to that. 
go to guard the barracks in the uh I'm sorry, I forgot my own ward names. <laughs> In the lower ward. Okay, thank you. Good. Uh, thank you again for helping with the uh, disturbance. Problem. <sighs> Anything to be rid of the part coalition bastards is a fine way to help. Yes, we Plus do. Uh, we figured they would try something during the festival, but this uh, this attack seemed very coordinated for even their standards. They seem mm. to have ulterior motive. I have a question. Um. Is there any, could I check for anything in the pile of ash, or is it just straight up ash? Uh, I mean, you could, you could certainly try. Uh, do you remember where it was? It was like over here? Yeah. Aha. Okay. You can continue your conversation. I'm just going to go look over here. What do you want me to roll? Investigation. Okay. It'd be cool if I had my sheet up. If I had my sheet together. <laughs> what a mood, actually. Uh, Jackal is kind of scratching his chin, and due to his <clears throat> time as a mercenary, or at least his three years of it, he'll just look over to the broken squad members like, maybe it was just a smoke screen? This could be a possibility. Or... They were testing defenses. Hmm. Or defensive. Defenses toward the wall. Except that the scent Hades got was directly from Dulciana. Which led us here. Well, Doesn't not seem... exactly. The scent he got was from my sword, meaning they may have some storm chaser weaponry. Or storm smasher, sorry. Oh, I must not have been paying attention. No, it's quite all right. Though the fact that they have that kind of weaponry is also not great. <laughs> Rowan's gonna yell from across the square. He also dropped his pants! <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you, I was really wishing for them to know that. Thank you, there Rowan. Was that. Actually... Actually, Jack will say, was there anything in the pockets? I... No, Brock, I mean, El Elric. He dropped his pants. It was quite, quite the scene. I would suggest Wait. a belt. I have one. Sadly, it doesn't <laughs> like me yelling, be cold. <laughs> that was actually the problem. You see, when they go like this and yell, behold, and he puts up his head, <laughs> boom! Like a ton of bricks. Huh. Jackal just looks at this particular scenery, looks over to Callisti, looks over to the Grokin squad member, then looks back to Brock, and then to Zephyr, then back to Brock, or rather Elric. So, uh... Brock Elric... Elric is fine. Yeah, well, I mean, you're gonna pull those kind of shenanigans, you're gonna be Brock Elric for now, at least to me. Like, uh, he, actually, I look over to the Grokin member. Is flashing considered uh, against the law here? Well, he still has underwear on, so not super against law, just short shorts. But you might want to be careful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just. I'll just pull these up real quick. Just go ahead. Thank goodness you weren't called your pants down in the combat. Yes, it's great that I figured out this belt has many uses, such as 
just falling down. Exactly what I needed to surprise enemies. And he's kind of just rolling his eyes. All right, again, I look over to Rowan, and I say, so, was there anything over there you might find interesting? Uh, Rowan, as you were searching, uh, you see that the, uh, the, the guy across from the dust pile to you is, uh, holding this kind of strange, clear, magical, uh, clear crystal, and kind of waving it around, and, uh, well, he's, he's, he's not liking what he's getting. So I didn't find anything, but I'm seeing him do this thing. Yes. Where? Um. Hi. Where'd you get that? Oh, uh, this is magical tool. What? What does it do? Uh, he'll uh literally steps directly through the uh, the piles of dead people. Uh, he holds it up to you, and it uh it glows a little red. What? The... What? What? What does that mean? Uh, he'll hold it up to himself, and it'll grow uh, slightly green. This uh, this detects if the entity has a soul. Um, I'm gonna step back to the side. Um, okay. You're Are you flame. checking? Yes, but I'm still gonna step back. So, are you checking to see if any of this ash is alive? No, no, no. I'm checking if something happens to soul. Usually when body dies, the soul sticks around for a little bit, just to figure out where it's going. Are souls valuable? Incredibly, de depending on the uh, the one get okay. gaining them. Can you put them on a necklace? <laughs> <laughs> there are <laughs> items that can trap souls, yes. Okay, okay, alright. Any So there's no souls around here? Any at all? No, miss. Oh, okay. Okay. Odin would beat your ass. <laughs> which is, which is. Dad's not here. W which, which is problem. Oh, okay. Oh, um, we're there's no souls over here, guys. Callisti, what does that mean? I'm assuming she knows. She is a goddess, okay? She just, like, sh like you know, like, leans <laughs> to the side of uh, Jacqueline like and is, like, sh shrugging, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so my phone a friend didn't work. Oh, um, allow me to, uh, allow me yeah. to elaborate. Those who signed with Burnt Coalition tend to trade in soul in order to disappear when killed, and then return to Marthane. Uh, uh so okay. Like, oh, you just when you die, your soul goes to oh, poof, gone. Well, when you sell your soul or use it to power something, it other things happen. <laughs> That's hmm. possible. Yes, sadly. Is it? Is there a way we could trace where the souls could be now? Like if that, they were taken, that, or that, not sold, taken, sold, are they still it. being? Sorry. <laughs> no, nah, it's fine. <laughs> that's <laughs> I'm trying to form words. Above my pay grade, and personally, that's magic I do not dabble in or wish to. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know. I mean, there is, but Clusty kind of looks around. I don't think anybody has that tier of magic. All right. Well, thank you, sir, for your magic. Your soul detection rock. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, uh, yeah, soul detection rock. Um, may where can I get one of those? Uh, this is uh, specially made by uh, for the guard. Oh. Well, can I have it? No. Oh. I tried, guys. Thanks, good day. <laughs> Jackal. Well, 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 well. If you want one, we could probably ask Parable for one later. I figured it might be useful in some way. Exactly, so. Parable may have X or be willing to lean if we can convince him. Yeah, so. 
Jacko's going to look over to Callisti and would say, so do we still keep the masquerade thing that Dulciana made a plan for Yumi and Odin? Since Odin is missing, is that plan still valid or? I'm not entirely sure, but Oh, I don't really know what to do. Um, maybe we should go find. Um... God, I I know I have keen mind, but I do not today. Uh, the guy that offered us the job. Yeah, Trench. Uh, Trench. Trent. Trent. There we go. Calling... <laughs> That's Trent. not your artificer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be Trent, lying in uh, the Everstone. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should go find him and... Uh, he did say he was in... Uh, I, was supposed to see, I was supposed to meet him last night for the job, but I never bothered. Uh, well, he might still be in town. I mean, we did make a big presence and... I was in four contests and... I was asked to use your last name as part of mine, which I guess, are we still holding that masquerade? Because he might approach you. Um, let's just play it by ear. If he does approach us, then we'll go with that. If not, we'll just, um, yeah, <laughs> go back to normal. Gotcha. So low reward it is, or... Um, probably the best idea, I think. Um, unless we want to try and see where they didn't hit, because that might be more of a point of something if this was all a test or a smoke screen. Mm. I go to the Grunkin squad member. Do you have a report of where they hit or not? Several main areas, uh, a large... A lar a they set in the Druidic district in the Eastern Ward. Uh, in the main center of town, there were three of them. Uh, nowhere... Uh, one in the lower ward. Nothing in the docks. And two in the north ward. Mm. The holy that district seems... was left alone. That seems a little random, if not spaced out. As I said, the docks were not touched. Nor was the North District, but that could be because they're very... The uh, North District had two. Oh. It's the Holy District, I think. Yeah, so that's... Yeah. Okay, never mind. Uh, I guess we should check the docks then. Uh, Elric, you wanna... Lead the chase, or I guess me and Callisti still have to hold that charade. Callisti, I'm really sorry. I did not know that Dulciana had that weird plan. It's it's okay. Well, if we do, just try to be safe. Don't die, or get do something I wouldn't do, which is probably most things. So do whatever you wish. So what's security like? In the do like down at the dock for getting into the city. As long as you have a pass, you'll be able to allow it back in. It's more like a kind of a established tent town. There are buildings. So the dock is... There are businesses, but it's still technically not part of Gravencliff. Gotcha. Thank you. So, Jackal is going to actually lean over to Callisti and just whisper, So, do we still keep pretending the couple charade that Dulciana says, or we just go by the ear, as you said before? I. I guess we should keep up the charade just in case. I mean, nobody escaped from here, so there is a possibility that they wouldn't know. Mm. I'm gonna look 
around one more time, see if there's any skulking individuals. Though Rowan did come and get us from the eating competition, so... Oh, crap. Yeah, it's really hard to miss a tiefling waving fingers around, so... Oh, crap. Could they have fallen? Is that what you did? Wait, why? <laughs> I mean, it was the only way I could get their attention. Yeah, it was very effective. And it did help lose some of the calories from eating two huge dwarf pies. I, I can't believe you won, to be honest. Yeah, I'm actually very full. But yet, I don't know, taking a bite out of that, uh, it kind of points to the direction where that thing went deep into the, or went to the ground. That hulking red monster muscle guy. I don't know why, but it made me return my appetite. That's not good. Yeah, I don't know. It's really weird. I would want to try biting him again, but, or at least having some sort of meat made out of that. But isn't it's that not... considered cannibalism? <sighs> we're we're going right? to keep an eye on you. Why? Because you shouldn't be eating demons. Yeah, here's a question. What's the difference between a demon and, uh, whatever that thing was? Or and me. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Actually, the difference is, is you, that, the that difference between demon mean. and you is you'll throw elf fingers or uh, elf fingers around like joke. Demon will actually take elf fingers from person. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, that is a, that is a question I need to ask the DM. But does Rowan actually look appetizing to Jackal currently? Nope. There's still fingers. Good. From a person, Rowan. Are you saying I'm disgusting or like appetite? Like what is is it's a good Don't worry about it. (laughs) You don't need to know. It's on a need to know basis. The difference between you and a demon. As a joke. Never mind. (laughs) We're gonna go to the dogs. (laughs) So Pup Patrol, let us go to the dogs and let the two others handle their Solo missions. Jeebus. Why? How's uh, Hades doing? Is he a little spooked or is he kind of doing okay? Surprisingly, does didn't phase him at all. He's just sitting there being a dumb puppy. I'm all about that. Okay, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him one of my candied. Uh, He's actually being in, very good for being so good. What a good boy. <laughs> what a good good boy. Such a good boy. Oh, wait, that can get copyrighted. Never mind. <laughs> I can't sing music. I'm in pain. Uh, we will go give a report to, uh, to Palace. Uh, thank you. Stay safe. Roger yes, that, you sir. as well. Hmm. Alright, um, so if we are to split... I really should get some armor like that. They just left three dead people in the street. The mortician will probably come and clean them up. Yeah. Maybe. I hope. <laughs> I don't know, actually. Do we go off of that hope? Do we what, just more mortician? I mean, I don't know them personally, and I don't feel like carrying bodies around and looking more suspicious than I have to. What's that? <laughs> I point to that Oh thing no! Again. Hey, you! Whatever you are! What are you no! doing? It, uh, so what you see is that there is a treasure chest. With arms and legs. <laughs> um, there he is. Um, there is. You. you guys know what's going on, but that is horrifying. It, you'll see in a minute. Unhand those bodies, you... Whatever you are. Who are you? You see, uh, the the lid opens up. It sticks one of its hands inside of the lid. 
And he throws something at you. What does it throw? Oh, I'm gonna find that out. Oh no! <laughs> oh god. Uh, he hits you directly in the face with a uh, water balloon filled with shit and he runs away. Mother... <laughs> Motherfucker! I haven't got that guy expected back at the farm! What <laughs> the actual fuck just happened? <laughs> uh... Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to go cursing like that. It's just... Ugh. Ugh. Last time I had to deal with this kind of literal cow pie, I had to be back at the farm. Uh, with just the threw shit at you. No, I just kind of... dealing with animal feces. Uh, Calissi, do you have that really handy spell thing? I think my eyes are burning. The expression does not change. She just, but she still walks up and casts it. <laughs> I'm sorry, was that the chest's poo? Or was it carrying <laughs> We don't know. Poo? It, it, it was a balloon filled with poo. Wunderbar. That's... Which honestly checks out for that motherfucker. <laughs> I was talking about completely original character first time it's ever been used. No, yeah. Never seen that thing in my life. It, it was just a really cool design. Love him. Love that he's just a shit thrower. Anyway. Uh, you know, I think once I'm done with all this personal issues and everything, I want to go back to the farm. Do I want to know what you're even referring to as a personal issue? Plenty. Anyway. <coughs> Ugh. I think the smell got into my nose. Ugh. I was afraid you were going to say that it got in your mouth. Ah, I pray it didn't. <laughs> Speaking of personal issues, Brawl... L... 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 Elric. Is it later yet, or...? I prefer to do it over a drink after the invest after we get done looking into the docks. It'd you know be what, easier to say that. Me too. Me too. <laughs> as much as I'd love to explain, just casually explaining some stuff that I would have to in the middle of the city would not be for the best. Agreed. Let's go to the docks before. Uh... He looks over to the dog, and he completely forgot its name. And the pupper here becomes a water pupper. Oh, he is soaking wet. And he's, uh, he's, uh, Callisti, he's, he's coming at you. Oh, no! <gasps> Fuck, Chase! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> Um, we should probably... Yeah, I can't help you right now. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> he needs uh... to get some energy out. <laughs> oh, God. Listy's running in a circle and fucking Hades is just waiting till she passes out. <laughs> I guess to the docks we go. Lead the way, Callisti. <laughs> I was running. Wow. He, he gets about some? like halfway through chasing uh, Callisti and then he just kind of stops. <laughs> of course, <laughs> that's what he rolls well on. Half. Okay. Well, I was going to throw down some animal handling. He's got this. He's my guy. <laughs> Thank God someone got that. Can somebody? Can that be his voice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Is that my voice? I should have said. Oh God. Oh boy. So, uh, you guys all begin to walk down the city streets. Um, surprisingly, everything's just.
kind of going quickly back to what they were. Uh, people are coming out of homes. Uh, you see, uh, one thing of, uh, you see just like families coming back out of their homes, uh, re, uh, recreating the, the, the party scene again. Uh, it seems like an attack like this might not be too uncommon in Gravencliff at the moment. And a lot of the normal denizens know what to do. No, that's honestly very depressing. Wow. So are all cities this well uh, guarded against attacks? Huh. I'm impressed. Uh, as you say, as you say that out loud, walking by, uh, there's a dwarf that you that he overhears it. It's like, damn right. Do I recognize a dwarf, or is it just a nah, dude? just random dwarf? It's random oh. dwarf number one, my favorite. Alright. I'm also gonna look over to Brock. Uh, actually, Elric now. <laughs> it's gonna hit us all, don't worry. We'll get there. I was like, so, uh, Brock, I mean, Elric, question, yeah. but do you know any, like, that uh, big giant robot smith of yours? Do you think he can make really good armor? Or he just. Considering he was working on some more magical attuned things, yes. You'd probably have to give him specifications, but he may be able to help. I was thinking of, well, looking at, and he looks at his, his, uh, his chainmail that still has the nice big scorch mark from Pabra's, uh, Eldritch Blast, and now a nice cleave mark from the oversized Titan guy. I think I'm going to be needing some new digs, some new gear. <sighs> I think it's probably going to fall apart if we fight something that big or another magic slinger. You may want to look at it. When we have more funds, though, because armor tends to be a little bit on the pricier side, depending on what you want. Uh, so I'm guessing like 480 on gold isn't going to be enough. Kibis? I don't know how much. You can get armor. probably a gauntlet. You could probably get something to cover your fist. Not that much else. Huh. Damn. City city folk are... Man. They really are running around with that whole money as uh, profit in life. Well, don't worry. Maybe we can make you something nice. Maybe I can help you and even... Uh, sadly, armor isn't my specialty, but I can try. Cool. That can help uh, pay me back for the bedroll. You owe, you still owe me. Oh uh, yes, I see. This is going to go on my gravestone if I die before I give it to you. I cannot wait for this. <laughs> There's a bit of a toothy smile on uh, Jackal. <laughs> you see, for like one of the first times, Elric actually looks kind of happy and just smiles back. <laughs> All right, so we're going after the we're going to the docks. Uh... Yeah, let us go to Zedox. All right. Uh, so I mean, you guys just uh head through the lower ward. Uh, you see people again, still people coming out of houses. Uh, it seems that there is a one one building you walk past. You see uh, an elven woman, and then uh, like thirty-two halflings just come out of one building. What the it's actual a hell? Sea of halflings. And they all Jackal. disperse, like like they don't act. They might not actually know each other, but they just took shelter in the same spot. That is the weirdest. I'm not even going to question that. Jackal will go over to Rowan and Zephyr and ask, "Uh, do you guys know anything about that kind of um family situation thing?" Or I don't know. <laughs> you know how um, to. I'm not used to that many people in a shared space. I. No. <laughs> um, more things that are small fit into an area. I don't know. We were all thinking it. You didn't have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything needs an answer. Sometimes you just don't know. <laughs> fingers. <laughs> right. Fingers. Did you, you find anybody to actually buy your fingers? Nope. I had nope. someone who wanted to eat them. Wait, what? Yep. 
Yeah. <sighs> but for free. Wait. So I was like, nah. <sighs> Who want to eat those for free? I don't know. I at least charge her for a silver, a finger. Don't no, please don't were, give her there ideas. Were, there was a little more than that, but I did not think about uh, selling fingers individually. Now that is an idea. But oh, she's getting ideas. Excellent. As you guys uh, give Rowan more ideas about what to do with her fingers, <laughs> you uh, you get to a, a a similar gate that the to the one that you entered in. Um, this seems much less uh like uh, large carriages and people on horseback can get in, but it's more of a f uh, footpath and handcart kind of gate. Uh, there are two guards, uh, not, no, none of the actually full plated and heavily kitted uh, of the squad, but just a couple of regular guards. As you walk, you, you're not even checked as you walk outside of the door and they're just, uh, you see, one of them is collecting tickets, and the other one is just watching people as uh, as the other one collects tickets from people that are coming in from the docks. You get the the immediate smell of heavy salt water and fish as uh, as you enter the docks. Uh, there are seagulls, uh, people. Uh, the you're coming from the lower ward, which is a much uh, a bit more of a modern era. There's cobblestone streets and uh, tall buildings. These, uh, the second you get outside, are hand-built shacks and a muddy dirt road. The mud sticks to your boots, and it's getting heavy. And you could smell alcohol and uh, a, just a slew of other smells hit you as you walk deeper and deeper into the docks. I can understand why they didn't wish to put anything here. I don't know. With all this smell, with all this barnyard smell, or at least mix of the sea and all that, I'd say it'd be a lot easier to conceal it oneself. I think the ducks are very important. Um, my dad and I used to sell a lot of our stuff at different docks because they were right outside the city, and there's a lot of very important merchants. That sounded like I read that. I didn't. I'm sorry. That was no, 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 you're, no, 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 you're fine. What exactly, here, I got, I, got, I got you. I got you. Um, what exactly did you sell to these people? Was it outside of your fingers? For the love of God, please say it wasn't just more fingers. French fries. In the shape of fingers. Um. Uh, well, we just sold a lot of... I would... I... Uh, like little trinkets and fun things. Uh, we didn't have stuff that people really needed, not like essentials like food. I mean, we had some food, we had some rations, but a lot of it's just fun little cool trinkets like lockets and earrings. So you are, and, so you are like, um, what is it, a souvenir stand, more or less? Yes, just the traveling peddler man. Bro, in the back of your mind, you just hear your father going, Stop trying to sell the fingers to everyone. <laughs> We're trying to make actual... We need to make dinner, Rowan. <laughs> is why... fingers. We need money why are for we groceries. Getting these things? Everybody thinks we're weird. <laughs> yeah, Jack will suddenly realize something and he'll look over to both Rowan and Zephyr. So, uh... This might be me prodding a little bit too much, but... Your broken cart that's left back at the tent town. Do you think it's still safe, or do you might need to get that axle guy? Uh, I don't know. It's empty. I'm not worried about it. Well, we can have it fixed before we leave. At least then we'll have some transport if we wish to go to the road, no? Yes, I'm okay with that. But, I mean, if it, like, happened to get stolen or raided or something, like, it's not a big deal. I'm just worried because um, that questionable smith guy with the hammer and him arguing with his potion wife. Oh yes, name. the lovely couple that I decided to never go near and would rather tear my ears out. I'm not going to lie to you, I think they're too busy arguing and, and too busy trying to sell their Wait, couple. maybe working potions to mess with my empty cart. 
Well, I'm just worried about that thievy guy who might be trying to take parts of the cart for whatever. Well, crazy when it comes to worst, we can always buy a new one if it's empty, right? Yeah. Alright. Oh, uh, Jacqueline, you already saw him in town. Oh, it was that guy that I was eating food with, and he passed out because he couldn't handle the meat and potatoes. What exactly did you eat? It was a meat and potato pie made by dwarves. Now oh, that no. rings a bell. <laughs> yeah! Cut to Brock. You like got through like God. a piece and a half, and you were like, how do they eat like this? <laughs> so I ate all that, and then I ate. Uh, Kate, correct me if my memory is a little fuzzy, but did they say that the blueberry pie had a thousand blueberries in it? Um, yes. How the actual fuck are you still alive? What do you mean? It's... Oh my god. Honestly, I mean, I'm full. I'm That's ready. what you're asking. I'm... I wrote a paper on it. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's actually a bag of holding. He's a bag of devouring. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, he's not a real shifter. He's just a, ba a sentient bag of devouring. He's been awoken for this very moment. I mean, after the first round, just about everybody but myself and... Uh, yeah, one it of was the pets. weirdly quick. You do know those pies have actually killed people from time to time, right? Because they thought they could eat it. Um, yeah. I, I think two people might have died, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kalisti just oh. gets a flashback of the two people who literally just took two bites and went face down. <laughs> yeah, Jack remembers, like, oh, right, there was that one guy, he... In the last round, we were eating the blueberry pies. He did a face, and his face was turning blue, so... This, yeah, um, you ate... In full, this you ate the in special, full armor. You ate the blueberry surprise, oh no. Is that <sighs> I mean, at least I didn't Brock, get... Brock, roll a history uh, check, just to remember. Alright, I'm just, I was just making shit up on the fly, but if we're gonna do this. Yeah, it's been too long. You remember something happening after you ate that. But you were <laughs> and there not was a sure table. what. I remember something, then a table. <laughs> like a day later. Jackal just goes, yeah, one of the guys, well, me and this last guy, because everybody passed out in the first round, which... It was really weird being on that, the only one left standing, or sitting. And the other guy who was eating the blueberry pie, I think he went like three bites and then he turned blue, fell he... face flat into his pie. The, the oh, terrifying Lord. part was Jackal could have quit 20 minutes early. He just, he kept, just eating. kept going. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, right? just, I question no. how you are able to live. Just, just remember both both of the dwarves walking up to him slowly and just like putting a hand on his shoulder. Son, you're done, but you can stop eating. <laughs> Actually, that was the other thing that Jackal was going to ask because he was he forgot all about it. But did he earn the dwarves' respect? I can probably more than their respect. respect. You didn't they fear you. <laughs> <laughs> It was fear, not respect, buddy. <laughs> uh, as you uh, as you walk uh, that walk th walk the docks, uh, you there is a loud crash as you see a uh, a, a dwarf uh, literally thrown from a building, and you just see two gray large hands as somebody who has to duck from under the door steps out. Um... Oh... What the fuck? Uh, where are we? A boost? Uh, this is the entrance. Okay. I'll just throw us right near the wagon. Yeah, you guys are pretty much on the road before this, but you, you guys see the yeah. commotion of the dwarf being ejected. I told you I'm trying to enjoy my drink. 
I don't care if you want to fight. And he turns around with uh, not even noticing any of you, and re-enters the building. The dwarf, just upside down, ass in the air against a pillar. Rocco will pike over to him. Are you alright, sir? Uh, Thanks. he's unconscious. Never mind. He's fine. He was here when we got here. That's what we are all agreeing to, right? We found him like this. Jackal will <laughs> up, uh, right side this guy back up so he's, his ass is no longer up in the air. Why'd you say it like that? He was yeah. literally here when we got here. Just, well, I'm pretty sure all the blood going to the head is a bad thing, so. No, I think he's referring to me. <laughs> Just push him over. Just into the wet mud. Oh. I give him a quick slap to the cheek. Hello? Hey. Um, I oh, think he's, he's gone. alive, at least. Well, yeah, at least he's alive for now. <laughs> Can we clarify which cheek? <laughs> His ass cheek. He actually slapped him on the ass. <laughs> also, Jeebus, I have one belt. You slapped my leg. Like, okay. <laughs> no, so, don't worry uh, about it. Do we check inside here? Look for uh, the Tetch, uh, Tetris guy? Trent. Trent. There we go. Little is he Tetris? Hmm. That sounded good. Um, where uh, the door's right here, right, Jeebus? Or is it right where the man was? Okay. Guess I'll just walk in. So Elric, as you uh, as you walk in, the first thing uh, first thing you see is uh, two gnomes talking to a human. Uh, the the other Goliath, who is even bigger than you are, uh, sitting at his own table. Uh, a table with two elves, again talking to a singular, uh, actually it's talking to a halfling. Uh, and a table with two humans. Right. It just seems to well. be, uh, generally enjoying, uh, it's a raucous event, uh, there are, uh, no, no current fights, but it seems that this place has seen its fair share. There are beer stains, blood stains, uh, Get stains. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, broken furniture. Uh, but it currently, in the middle of the day, it seems like uh, nobody's uh, currently fighting. Besides the quick little event. Getting thrown out there. Hmm. Another interesting. This little hovel. And then start walking down. Yeah, I'll follow your uh, lead, Brock. I mean,. Elric. Trust me, you'll get used to it. Either you won't or I'll die first. Whichever happens. I'll be sure not to let your head get cracked in. Oh, I'm not worried about my head getting cracked in. Too thick for that. <laughs> um, I'll walk up to the uh, Goliath that looks fucking ginormous. Um, hello, sir. I was quite curious on what exactly happened with the gentleman that was ass up when we were coming in. Uh, as he turns around, he has, uh, his, uh, markings are somewhat familiar to you, uh, judging by that you've seen a lot of the, uh, Goliath tribes from around here. Um, oh no. Roll a, so roll uh, yeah, roll, roll another history check. Alright. Time to fail this, because I got a zero. Well! Uh, 12's enough, because uh, this is from the most, uh, your most uh, interacted with tribe. This is from one of the, he's a spine ripper. And I'll pick oh. one at that. Oh, I am sorry, sir. Please, I did not wish to offend you. Please, I still wish for my spine to be intact. Can't fight no, no real Goliath in this town anyway. 
apparently. It's murder. Who are you, shorty? Haven't seen you around here. Um, Eldrick, and he holds out his hand. Trov. Like the thing animals eat out of? He's like, roll a strength check as he squishes your hand for that. Bitch, you fucking thought! Ha! Ah, he won! Wow. Oh, wait, no, you guys tied! Like, he goes to squeeze and, like, nice try, Spine Ripper, but Storm Smashers have good grip, too. <laughs> Your women are usually stronger than you anyway. What do you want? Uh, I was just... Was wondering... We were in the neighborhood. One, I was wondering why that man was now ass up in the mud. He, he apparently thought he was stronger than me. He didn't even make it to the fight. <laughs> On a second note, I was wondering one thing. Have you... Has there been any rather suspicious individuals coming through this area? He looks around the tavern. Most of them. <laughs> no, as much as I... Yeah, that probably checks out. Uh, Jekyll, you do spell that there must be a kitchen here. You spell, uh... Spell, uh... The smell, the fair good smell of cooked meats, salt pork, and uh, bread. <laughs> Very basic mm. food, but it's here. Mm. Can I ask why Spine Ripper is doing in Graven Glyft? Something happened. Mm. No. Got bored of the clan life. Decided to go make some coins somewhere else. It's fucking hot down here. Huh. You find it hot, I find it cold. <laughs> well, that does make sense. The little Elric here is from halfway up the mountain. We lived on top. Yes, but sadly we didn't have to use the spine of our enemies to make our weaponry. Didn't have to either. Just made a statement. Oh yes, being hated is a great statement to make, no? It works. <sighs> Means nobody with no shit contracts come and find me. Who just left? Wait. Oh. Moogle is gone. Oof. Callisti is dead! <laughs> Probably uh, don't worry. We'll make sure to come and find you. Alright, I'm going to go get a drink now. Been too long. Now, uh, Brock will take a seat over at this. Bench right over here. Elric will take a seat over the bench over here. I'll look over to this Spine Ripper guy for a brief moment. Up and down, then I'll just make a comment like, man, there's your soul, well, compared to that weird giant angry guy earlier. I can't find anybody that matches his height. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, the... The incident earlier. Some big, giant, red, hulking, angry guy. And Jack will show the nice scar that he got from. All fiery and anger. Yeah, pretty confident in my durability, but ow. Still. Uh, scars make the warrior. 
Eh, the, the mercenary life. Not exactly fond of it. Did you have any chance to get any, uh, in, heard of any interesting jobs? There was just one human going around. Hmm. Shilling out a lot of coin for not a lot of work. Didn't trust it. Ah, uh, are you referring to that, uh... Little bastard. And, uh, I forgot his first name, but it was an Everstone something. Offered, like, three grand. Sounds about right. Hmm. Yeah, I had the same offer. But, I guess we both had the same mindset. It smelled a little too good to be true. Yeah, I've had offers like that before. Never turn out well. Either they don't have enough money, or the job ain't worth it. Or it could also be a scam. Setting everybody up for the fall. Uh, he, he, he puts a thumb under his armor and he just pulls out this clattering necklace of, uh, which you know is vertebrae. Hmm. Oh, God. They don't make it long. Well, that's only because either they are too full of themselves, or the ones that did get away with it managed to do so. But good on you. Jackal. Trove. Nice meeting you. Hopefully we meet again. Enjoy your time. It's good to see another man who can actually take a fucking hit. <laughs> Remember. Right, twist and snap. <laughs> Considering where, my, where our line of work is, I'm definitely going to keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, as you guys walk in front of him, uh, he doesn't have a cup. He has uh, one of those barrel casks that he can just fit his entire hand around. He's got a yep. hog's head? Yeah. I forgot what those are actually called, but yeah, there's like the very the, this smaller cask of ale. Yeah, like, yeah, like the five gallons? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Callisti, as you walk up to the bar, you see, uh, this gentleman, uh, regaling the bar with a story of the seven seas. What? And how I lost me eye. <laughs> oh, customer, now what can I do you for? Um, I, I, um... Listy kind of, you know, like takes a breath. Um, there was a guy who was offering a lot of um, jobs. Um, uh, what was his name? Trent? Trent Everstone? Um, yeah, he was offering a, a lucrative trying, sum. Trying to find him. Mm, the Everstone. <laughs> Never heard of him. Jackal, Lil. Ah oh, man, I hate doing this, but yeah, Jackal will definitely want this job done. He'll present five gold coins. So are you sure you don't remember him? He looks at the coins. He, uh, as, as he puts out five coins, he just grabs something from the bar. Here you go, boy! And he just takes the five coins, and you now have a bottle of rum. I suppose I look over to Kliski. I suppose our main uh, person to talk to will be Trog. He said he mentioned about hearing a human giving a lucrative job, but it smelled too good to be true. Yeah, that or the bar from last night, or I have a sneaking suspicion he was hop he was bar hopping to get as many people as possible. Well, let me give this to, uh... 
I am gonna keep calling him Brock, but it's Elric. Say close, uh, Klesky, or no, try to find information. Okay. Walk over. Pass the bottle. And that's the story of how my wife made my underwear and why it has her name woven into it. Well, oh, good, you brought boots. Nope. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> can all share that. <laughs> I would like to point in that I seem to run in earlier. I was just seeing yeah. someone get thrown out. I'm low health. I was just trying to. Yeah, no, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> Scamper in, try not to get. Yeah. I picked up the dog and went. He, 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 and just yeah, ran yeah, on it. Yeah. Uh, Hades is currently eating something. You know, I trust is that, him. Is it floor pizza? I'm just pizza? gonna pat him on the head. Um, uh, thanks for the rums. Good, and you just see Brock immediately take the cup and just down it in one sip. Let me just, uh, roll my constitution. Share it with the others. Wait, did you down the whole ha! bottle? Ha! <laughs> well, it wasn't a whole bottle, it was a... Oh wait, was it a whole bottle? That was it was a whole bottle! Was a bottle of rum, and Hades well, puked on the floor. Oh! Uh, you think five gold got a cup? I had to sit through that story, and I don't get any rum. Go back. <laughs> yeah, go here. That, that, that's why. And that's why Jackal was like, mm, make sure to share with the group. <laughs> well, I can't have a pretty lady like you not have any alcohol. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> As he puts a hand <laughs> through his luscious hair. <laughs> Now, what's a tiefling like you doing in a place like this? The name's Baron. I bet you've heard of me. Yeah. Mm. Nope. <laughs> I'm listening to a good old story about underwear. Yeah, me and uh, me and my crew overheard uh, <laughs> the underwear story. But most importantly, heard you uh. Looking for some, uh, that little man with the gold, right? Uh. Yeah, it was a little interesting. <laughs> yeah, so much I to... need Jackal to take the lead on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just... He's gonna sit at the table right next to Rowan. That's fine. Jackal is just, uh, he's still standing. He's also keeping an eye on those two. You just see Elric oh, like just shooting daggers at this man. Just he's just looking at those two in curiosity over why they're uh, they're letting these their I guess their meat buddy come over here and pick up another girl, but he's not gonna question it too much. And he's just gonna add, Yeah, he came by last night to us with a very interesting job, but uh we didn't quite take it since we were more interested. Oh, I was interested in handling a contest, but now that that's over with, I was wondering that job was still up for grabs and wanted to meet him in person. Oh, he tried to hire me and my crew as well, but <laughs> the Baron works for no man. Baron? Is that your first or your last name? <laughs> that is my name and title. And I gesture over to. <laughs> I gesture over to the, the two, uh, to the two ladies that are on the sitting over there, and I suppose your lady compatriots wish to introduce themselves, or. Uh, the uh, the one with kind of the more frazzled hair and the uh, just done with this shit look. The name's Rika. Uh, first mate of uh, Captain Baron. Don't take him at face value. He's actually a big softy.
I've lost her. I don't know where she is. Rika is an enigma to this campaign. No, I mean, I know Rika. I'm trying to find the other one. Oh, there she is. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, she, uh, she just raises raises her wine glass and goes, Tamara! Good to meet you. Part of Baron's crew. <sighs> I spell my mom. Hmm. I look over to uh, the Baron again, or actually, no, I'm still looking over to uh, Rika and Tamara. And I say, I don't suppose either of you might have picked up where this uh, Everson guy said he wanted the people to meet him for this job thing, because I sort of forgot and wasn't paying attention to that little detail he gave. Really, persuasion check. Okay. Uh, uh, I do have a question. Would my mercenary thing help or no? Uh, it, it changes the DC. Okay, so I'll just ping this right now. over from uh from schmoozing with Rowan and go boy the ladies don't do anything for free <sighs> of course not and without even looking at you to bear the other hand on the wine one hand of the wine glass the other hand just over her shoulder and she just does the uh rub rubbing her thumb with her three fingers right right how about Do a quick little shuffle my own gold. This. Right, so I'll walk over and I'll place in between them eight gold coins. And as I do this, I say, I really appreciate to know more about this uh, individual and if you can find him or his location thing. Uh, the coin, like, you you could have sworn you put down gold coins and they usually make a sound when they hit a wooden table, but in a flash, they're gone. And Tamara will spin on her chair, rolling, rolling a coin down her fingers and goes, what do you want to know? Well, uh, if the guy left a meeting spot, and if he had made any particular details of where to meet for this job offering that he made, because he did mention something vaguely meeting him last night, but unfortunately my memory and my focus was on the party and the contest, so... Everything went vague. First time drinker. You know how that goes. It's been hundreds of years since my first drink, but... To each his own. Uh, the boy... Hey. Just seems a bit out of place. Seems like he was trying too hard to fit in. He didn't tell us a place to meet because we didn't take his offer. But... Judging by the dirt on his shoes, the, dirt, the smell coming from him, I'd place him near a bakery in the lower ward. I'm going to do a little insight to see if they're not just giving me random information. I might not be good at it, but... 
she might know a little more than what she's telling you, but uh, it is she's telling the truth. Scratching my chin a little bit more. It actually seems really specific. Mm. You're right. <laughs> Callisto kind of. Callisto gets up, walks over, puts down five gold. Oh. Oh, there we go. I've seen any dark dwarves looking around. Kind of a. Uh, Special bunch of them they can go invisible on a whim. I, kinda... I do know about the Duragar part of their group. I need to know where they are, please. Well, like I said, that was a little hint. Look for a bakery. Try and find some Duragar. They stick out like a sore thumb in the sunlight, just like I do. Shielding our eyes. The sun is terrible. How do you people deal with it? Ah, uh, I lived under the sun. Big hat. Sword. It, it's just not that bad. <laughs> Well, when you grow up under the earth for 300 years, it's, it's a little irritating when you first see the sun. Mm. I couldn't imagine living that long. It's a and blessing. again, I suppose I would not know. I'm one of the uh, short lived people. So. Plus, the occupation I'm in, a lot die young. Didn't at all, sailors and mercenaries alike. <laughs> I've almost died several times. Of course you have. I kind of look over to Baron and I say, so what? Now I'm curious, what was the worst possible thing you could have died to? Worst possible thing? Ah! <laughs> when I fought the dread pirate Stevens. The red pirate. That dastardly skeleton. Couldn't kill him, but <laughs> took me three days and nights of battle. I look over to the two crew members to see what their reactions are. <laughs> Fucking even purified bullshit. Wow. <laughs> Damn. All right then. This man is obviously a well-renowned captain, and you just kind of hear him gritting his teeth as he's saying it. I look over again to the two ladies here. They both rolled their eyes at the same time. Yeah. No, I was just thinking of another question. So, considering that you guys sailed the seas, and unfortunately, I have very, very, very little experience with the sea, but uh, were you guys around Tamarine? Yeah, that's uh, that's where Baron single-handedly took down the pirate, huh Baron? I may have had some help mm. but a crew's nothing without their captain am I right? <laughs> and he just kind of slaps Eric on the back He's got a slight point I'm going to kill him. I'm going to stab him with my sword and kill him. Do you say that um, out loud? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I may be stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Well. <laughs> Jackal just quietly nods. Yeah, I mean, I suppose that's something that the sailors have over mercenary groups. They have their camaraderie. Uh, I'm a little that's... envious of that, but. Oh, way speaking of camaraderie, have you seen our dwarf? He uh, got a little uppity and decided he was going to fight the big man. Yeah, oh, he's, he's the one outside. Sleeping. We checked. He's resting. He's alive. Comfortably. At least he's not dead. Knowing him, he'll uh, be back in in about uh, 
15 minutes trying to ask somebody else to fight. Tio are not worried he might get pickpocketed. Because he was literally ass up. <laughs> you see, with with little to no effort, Tamara bring out a, an orange bag. <laughs> ching ching. Ah. Well, at least he's lucky to have some watchful eyes. What are you talking about? This is fine. He just lost saying. it in a bar fight. I just kind of shrugged. Just saying. I mean, it's kind of hard to find a place to have a decent meal and whatnot. Especially when you're more focused on survival and not about honor and war and all that stuff. Um... Sorry to interrupt, but probably ought to be hurrying up. Mm, Don't know if right. they're going to try and move or not. You're right. Anyway, thank you, ladies. Baron, uh, enjoy your... Hope you, uh, Rowan. Thank you for your sacrifice. Anytime. I just wanted a drink. I mean, he gave you one. Oh, yeah, he... I missed that. I didn't... Uh, no, she's not drinking that. No, uh, I'll I also, get you. I slapped Brock. I was like, Brock, I hope you say the sip for her, damn it. <laughs> oh, Rick, and no, sorry. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll call this a, sh a short rest, so uh, okay. you guys can use your hit die, get anything back that you used. Uh, I don't think I. They do get, I get second like, window? You're a short rest. fighter. You get everything back. Yeah. Um, I don't get action search. I don't think. You do. Check. Do you? May I get some assistance for this? Okay. Explanation. So, on a short rest, you could use your hit dice to uh, regain health. Uh, some some classes get some things back with, on a short rest, like uh, uh, warlocks would get their spells, fighters get their second wind, and a bunch of other stuff back. Uh, druids don't get anything. Uh, you, no, you get your wild chase back. Yes. So any wild okay. chase you used, you can re you now have full again. Uh, Rowan, sadly to say, I'm just rangers at four, don't get so shit. I'm worried. So that's why you use your hit, use your hit dice. Uh, you, there should be under your under your temporary health. There's those two boxes, three boxes. Do new rangers get all their uh, marked targets back? Actually, on a short rest. I actually don't. Uh, she would, but she didn't use it. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Click the hit dice. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It, it says a two. Yeah, so you're level two. You have two hit dice you can use. Okay. It's set at D8, right is that, that correct? Yep. Oh, there we go. So you got 10 for that one, and if you want to use your other one, you still can to, uh... So you're back up to full. Happy clappies. Bro, are you hanging out with Baron? I honestly thought you were gonna just change the map. My bad. I no, he wants to move. Or, the, or Baron will capture you. <laughs> I don't even know where I went. Uh, you oh. can go after I. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I hate this mouse, but it's better than not using one. Uh, I fixed it. <laughs> Zephyr, after Hades ate whatever he ate, he doesn't look great. And he's an unhappy puppy. Okay, I don't know what to do. Is this an animal handling situation? This might be an animal handling. Okay. Well, I thought I could trust him, because he was really good, like a minute and a half ago. He was doing great, but then he ate a weird thing off of a bar floor. Bar floor? That is known for fight and has beer stains all over the wall. I was thinking food that fell. <laughs> no, I would never. You would <laughs> no, never. Okay. Hades would. All right. How's he doing? If I comfort him and. Uh, I mean, he's he seems upset, but probably just because he's got a tummy ache. He's just an unhappy dog, and probably with the with your knowledge of animals, will probably be a ha unhappy dog until he sleeps it off. Okay, well, just in case, I'm going to... I'm going to use my decanter and say stream. 
and give him just a little something to lap up. Because oh. I think he needs some water. Okay. I don't think he he actually drank the water in the fountain. He just played in it. So maybe that'll help him a little bit. Uh, uh -huh. he drinks it. Uh, it seems okay. Uh, yeah. Kind of just a, it does do much for him, but it doesn't hurt him either. That's okay. He's still like a pup, pup, right? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pick him up and carry him for a little while. He seems to enjoy it. Good boy. But every time he gets close to the the closer you get to Callisti, the more his tail wags. Oh no. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna face. I'm gonna walk in a way that he can look at Callisti, but they won't go too close because I know she'll freak out. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Uh, what did I miss exactly? If anything? Dog problems. Nothing really. Okay. Uh, so he about... likes you, but I know that you don't want to be around him. So we're just walking in a way that he can look at you. Because <laughs> uh, he. Oh, making you happy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I apologize for that. I, uh, Jackal doesn't mind being around dogs or other animals. He's worked in a farm before. Well, Actually, this was <laughs> Actually, would the pupper actually have a problem being around Jackal is the question. <laughs> doesn't seem to have a problem with you. Okay. He likes the cat. <laughs> if... It's the fluffy. <laughs> it's the boy. So, uh, gotta... so you guys, what are you guys doing? I mean, uh, did they say specifically what bakery or just a bakery? It sounds like a bakery. I don't think that's. I mean, I feel like that's enough to start. I mean, you gotta remember too. There's plenty of bakeries around here, but the main clue we're looking for is um, uh, those dwarves. I go and... Wait, they actually go in... in Visa what now? Sure, oh. are they... For Draugr, they go... Invisible. Invisible. Hmm. Honestly, it might be best for us to find the local guard that would just kind of know where they congregate. I, I don't know. Actually, our... No offense, I don't want to sound racist, but our door guard welcomed here. Clissy's so just looking at everybody else like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean... Maybe... Don't... Hold on. Let me roll a history on the Drugar. That'd probably be in my neck of the woods. Well, actually, no, they'd be further down, wouldn't they? Near your neck of the woods. Okay. Don't worry, guys, I got this. I mean, I guess I could roll a history, too. Ah, oh, yes, yeah. A3. Callista, you, you can roll a history, too. Uh, the I mean, the history, the recent history of Grave, Gravencliff, as, uh, as you had heard after a, a certain warlord had taken over, uh, it has turned from a very segregated and uh no and uh classist society to a hodgepodge of every race you can think of so they're probably accepted but they probably don't like it because it is in the sun and just like how you haven't seen many drow they probably either come out at night or don't live here I would suspect that they congregate together in a single area. So I guess we will... Hmm. As cultures tend to do even when desegregation occurs. Desegregation, huh. And it's very well, clear. Well, Grell took over, they were... Well... Kind of classist and racists and... Hmm kind of thankful for Grell even more now. Anyway, uh... Right, so we'll go with the initial plan you mentioned, Clisty. Look for a guard who may have seen a congregation of 
Dorgar, but at the same time, we should also be keeping a... I guess I'll be keeping a nose out for bakery scent. I mean, I'll try to, too, but wet dog and mud kind of strong for me. Eh, he'll, he can walk it off. He can dry it out soon. Besides, if you'd smell the the fresh smell of cooked bread, baked bread, it's pretty potent as well. It is. All right, so you guys uh, walk through the <coughs> gate. Uh, guard, the, both the guards, the, the guard that that was checking tickets goes tickets. I present mine. Uh, he checks them all, lets you go in, uh, no issue. Wait, shouldn't we have asked them? Oh, right. Uh, didn't the ladies say they were in the lower ward? I mean, the docks? They said lower ward. Oh. But. Hmm. I say we could just ask him. Both yeah. places were mentioned. I mean, we could also risk splitting up, but. Point. We'll have... They may know our faces, so splitting up might not be for the best. That also didn't go well last time. True. Yeah, that's why I'm hesitating to suggest that. Plus... You know, let's just not. Okay, alright. You're right about that. Uh, Alright, I'll just look over to one of the... So the guards, are they grunken people, or are they just normal? Just normal, uh... Regular, regular strength guard. Okay, I'll just approach one of the guards and casually so and ask, Oh, excuse me, but are there any known bakeries in the lower war that you may recommend? Hmm. Oh, we got, uh... Yeah, that place, uh... What's the name? The telly, telly runs it. Yeah. Just, uh, t telly. Oh, telly. Okay. It's kind of hard to miss. Should be the uh, more of the central district. It has a big, uh, big fountain in the middle there. Just uh, go up the road, take the first major, major left, and then it'll be a left. It's kind of like a little shopping district in the lower ward. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, here's a question: Do they cater pastries and whatnot to dwarves? I have a friend who was mentioning something about a bakery, but uh, as he said, it was only fit for dwarves. But since I've been taking an interest in dwarven cuisine. Just want to know is that this is that uh the deli or that bakery you mentioned does it cater to doors or is there one that does i mean i think telly will sell to really anybody she's a little spunky girl hmm. all right thank you very thank you kindly sir yeah and jackal will return to the group and relay that information to them And he's also going to take a deep breath. <sighs> I'm not used to talking so much. Even when I was working as a mercenary. All I did was just get a job. If I like it, I stick with it. If I didn't, I run away. I, I understand. I, I spent most of my time reading books, not talking. The log in the forge. Talking with people's been rusty. Every time I talk, I mention fingers, and nobody likes that. I mean, Correct. Shut up. <laughs> <So. laughs> I don't see anything personally wrong with that, but I guess it's not weird social norms. 
I looked I looked to Zephyr for hope. <laughs> I mean, I I didn't really talk to anyone outside of my family until like 14 maybe. And then it was a lot of old 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 druids, lots of old druids. One time we would need Odin to help us talk to people and he has to be helping the uh, the sick. Did. Well, I mean, he is trying to keep people from dying. So that's a noble yes. cause. But aren't we as well? Still judging. I will never call myself noble. <laughs> uh, from the roof above you guys, uh, you hear, uh, well, sir, I think, I think your actions have been pretty noble as of late. Ah! You, uh... Right, um... I need to roll. I'm not gonna roll history if he remembers the name. One. Oh, right. You're Charlie. That's right, sir. Charlie Hot. Great. So, uh, yeah, maybe you can help a little bit for us, but we're looking for the following. Uh, all oh, right. Uh, anyway, we're looking for a bakery that has a possibly a large influx of uh, what were the doors uh, called again? Durgar. Yeah, those uh, coming in and out hmm. for pastries and perhaps looking for somebody running around offering a Suppose an easy job with a lucrative price tag on it. Looking for a guy named Trent. Trent. Well, Everstone. ain't never met no Trent before. Hmm. I mean, I met a couple, but I don't think they've they ain't got the coin to be offering jobs. He was at a couple of the competitions. Oh, they must have been one of the travelers. Hmm. You got a description. Uh, he was at Punch Drunk, and he was at... Calisti is trying to remember which ones he was at. <laughs> he, was, he was only at the Punch Drunk. But she'll... It, I mean, using Keen Mind, she'll rail off what he looks like. <laughs> and she's okay. seen him, like, four times. Yeah, uh, <laughs> long, long kind of spiky hair, uh, bags under the eyes, uh, jet black hair, real skinny kind of kid. Then Jackal says, "I don't think you would get. Yeah, I don't think you would actually get along with him, Charlie." I've seen him before. Oh no, yeah, hanging out with a bunch of those short black dudes, right? The uh, the ones with the white hair and the uh, sometimes they get a little bigger. Yeah, those are the Durgar. Oh, yeah, they um, I think I've been seeing hanging them, them hanging around the south wall uh, on the. Kind of behind the, uh, yeah. almost in the, uh, almost in the north ward, that, uh, the big building, yeah. The game the rounds fast. Hmm. Were they there recently or just, uh, in the past few days? Oh, well, they've been staying there for a week. I think, uh, the owner usually rents it out to whoever really needs a place. Charlie, can you show us where we're? This is, this is really important. Sure. Uh, he, uh, he drops down from the, from the roof. I ain't got any letters to deliver anyway right now, and he just kind of just dust off his little jacket. Follow me! Uh, and he will take mm -hmm. you to this house. Dun dun dun! Oh, yes, the house. And while we're going, I'm just going to take a look around to see if I spot any more people that may resemble uh, Harry or any of uh, Tret's uh, Trent's, uh, Goon Squad. It. Yeah. <laughs> I got you, don't worry. Damn. I guess we should all be, like, keeping on high alert. <laughs> yeah. Feel free to roll. Squad all of us? Roll? If you want, it's up to you. If you're looking yeah. around, yeah. 
Jackal is since as a mercenary. He's always been focused on keeping himself Except alive. Except really want Kitty. Oh god, I'm this more... is dark, but... <laughs> I am distract. Uh, as, uh, as you guys... Uh, get to about uh, the the intersection here. Uh, Rowan, uh, ne next to the wall, you see a pair of footprints. But they're creating a path. Like, somebody's walking there, but you can't see them. Wait. So, so I could see footprints being made, like someone's walking, but I can't see anybody. Yeah. So, like you, you've you've seen like ghost stuff and like that. Like a pair mm -hmm. of footprints are appearing and and walking, but you don't see anybody. Gotcha. Um. Yeah, across the street, that's Layla's place. Oh, makes the best breakfast. You should stay there one day if you guys don't have a place to stay. Hmm. I'll keep a note about that. Nice little coffee shop. Can I notify, like, they're like, look at this. Does anyone else see this? Am I crazy? See what? Hmm? The, the footprints. Where? By the wall. I mean, when she points them out, do we, see, do we all see it now? Yeah, like... you do. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I like, don't know. I think I'm all. still, <laughs> but, every time I try uh, to look, I get distracted. <laughs> as you all look the the person the uh, the footprints stop and then you see them begin to kick up mud as it seems like the entity begins to run i am going to attempt to chase after it oh god because she was like uh, hi everyone <laughs> hey it's not like i yelled i just said hey that's uh... so that's how dnd &D goes sometimes that's how it yeah. goes so, uh, so maybe uh, next time in that situation, you should uh, say I uh, either uh, either whisper it to uh, one person in the group, or maybe like just just not grab grab everybody's attention in the kind of the area, because let's just say this might have been a scout making sure nobody found found out what was happening. Does that make okay. sense? Yep. Could I attempt to chase? Uh, absolutely. Uh, roll, uh, roll a perception check just to see if you find him as he crosses back. At Charlie, is just gonna be. What's going on? Seventeen. Uh, Jekyll, you see as uh, one of the back doors opens and slams shut. Of the uh, of the back building here, uh, notably. Shifting Constantly in I... shade. Uh, same same building that Charlie was bringing you to, just the back side of it. Okay, so... Jackal is just going to... I'm going to roll one thing. Uh, he's going to say, damn it. Fine. I'm going to charge that door and smash into it. Maybe, maybe we should let. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's just like Felicia. She's like, watch. Maybe we should let Rowan do the thing, the, the thaumaturgy. <laughs> Slam. <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> oh dear God. Twice. Okay, Torchy. What? Torchy. 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 Do your job. No, it is. It's just the way that lighting is angled. <laughs> What do you mean? Where are we supposed to... Uh, so the torch technically works, but it has an orb of darkness around it. I think it might be from when we were doing the spider caves. There's light from here? Yeah, it like lets off a light itself. There you go. Oh, there we go. Also, Jeebus, as I'm about to hit the uh, door, I'm just going to use this here. Actually, no, I won't. I don't want to use it as often. I'm already sad. <laughs> Oh, well, actually, Jackal will not want to use it, but uh oh, there we are.
Jeebus. Yes. Uh, Do you roll... think... Oh, that's guy. Would Hades fit in my little kit? My explorer kit? He'll fit. Comfortably. He'll... Comfortably might not be the thing. But he'll fit. Okay, and currently gonna... being upset puppy, he'll just kind of not really wiggle too much. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him one of the toys that Odin brought and uh, let him rest in there just so I can have hands. <laughs> hey, yeah, you see, uh, he actually like sticks his head out of the pack. Yeah, he's just looking around. <laughs> Happy puppy, <laughs> we're good. Okay, that's all. Uh, Charlie, Charlie follows you all because he has no idea what's happening. He goes, "What's going on?" Uh, Jackal, roll an athletics check. Will do. Oh, I heard oh. flex check. Oh yes, my flexing check. Boom! Flexed. It was not. The door flexed back. <laughs> Clisty's just gritting her teeth, like as she was saying that whole like, maybe we should let Rowan do <laughs> whack. Oh. All right. <laughs> if, you're, if you're going to do that, let at least let me charge through the door. All right. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna fucking kick this motherfucker down. I'll roll in All athletics right. now. Do it with advantage, because I'm assuming Jackal is helping you. Yes. Charlie. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I, mean, I have to roll severity on this. Oh, great. Okay. What the fuck? You. Hey, guys. You jam. Like, you're like, let a real man do this. And you smash your shoulder into this door. And from around the corner, you all you hear is Charlie going, This is breaking an entry! Oh dear. So much for the element of surprise. <laughs> Jackal kind of... Uh, uh, fuck. Who speaks Dwarven? Just what I'm trying to say here. I do. I do. Uh, you hear in Dwarven, Someone found us! They look like the right pissed! Totally. Quick ex explanation, real quick. We might have found the people that have, you know, done some stuff with the city, with the fire and everything. Should I get the guard? Yes. Probably, no. maybe for the best bets. Yeah. Or no, go get the Grunkin squad. They're at the beginning of the castle. The this castle should be gates. the palace. Um, to take me. Should it take me about an hour? And you just like you see him just like stammer step, and he just sprints off. All right, can we run like the wind, Charlie? Can someone just Ask open me. the door now? And she calls. She goes. Don't you have that go. knock thing? Ask for Cal uh, ask for Dulciana and tell her Callisti sent you. All, All right, right. Jeebus, I'm gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna take off my belt, put it on the door, and say, "Behold!" As I hold my hands up and put it on the door. <laughs> Alright, so unfortunately, since you're not wearing the belt, the belt does not. Damn it! Wait, wait, wait I have an idea. Felicity runs over, if the belt's on the door, then she puts it on herself and does that. <laughs> oh no! Felicity, <laughs> you're not wearing pants. Exactly! Your stockings fall down. <laughs> but does the door open? No. <laughs> Is the door locked? Actually, none of us have tried. I turn the <laughs> handle on the door. Brock, this is when you realize it is unlocked and it is a pull door. <laughs> I hate my life so much right now. And I'll pull it open. You didn't lock the door? I was in a hurry! <laughs> I hate everything. And I'll walk into the room, I guess. I'll follow immediately behind. I need to process before I take a step inside. <laughs> that was a lot. Forgot. Oh, Forget. Forgot <laughs> to check if the door was unlocked. Davis, it wouldn't be this party if we were just smashing through it, guns blazing, without checking. True. You know, we all let you do that too. So. I know, yeah. and then I rolled two nat ones. I made Jeebus proud of me. <laughs> Oh, I mean, boy. I get, I get it. If Jackal did this or <laughs> flopped his, uh, his athletics, Dude. but man, 
That, that hurt actually my soul a little bit. I was ready to kick that. Holy shit. I rolled really hot for that though. <laughs> Damn, son. I have never gotten like a decent initiative. Why did it do two? I clicked it literally one time. Sometimes if you hold it over, it'll double click. That's lame as hell. What'd you get on your first one? Oh, well, the first one was a deception. So I don't know where that came oh. from. It's just, it's just 8.14. Okay. All right, Rowan, the boys have entered the building. Okay. Um... Shoot, and I'm not even close to the door. I mean, I am, but, um, I can't see anything, so I'm just gonna, um... The entrance is right here. <laughs> sure. I know, I still can't see anything. Um, I am going to... I'm just gonna step right through the... I think so. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna step through the door right there, and I still can't see anything. Uh, and ready my bow. All I right. I don't know. I can't see. I only see the one room. Am I supposed to see more? Nope. Nope. Okay. <sighs> so yeah, I'll just ready my bow for um, in case we uh, I don't know what are the rules. What can set off my? You set you set the trigger. Yeah, like if you see that. someone. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. If uh someone if an enemy attacks. An enemy attacks. Okay. Jackal. Uh. uh you guys Jackal. see an empty room. There is a staircase to your right and two doors in front of you. Jackal's just going to say, one of you guys cover this exit. Uh, I think they might have another way out. Uh, I'm going to regret moving this much. Uh, Jackal's going to move to over here. And... Uh, he's definitely been getting more use of his shifting abilities because as his bonus action he will pop this all right and for his ready action he's going to take the dodge action as he moves a bit more further in to look upstairs all right so jackal takes the dodge action and shifts into uh, his more bestial form so his mouth kind of extends he it somewhat dislocates his teeth become sharper and his hair grows a bit longer and shaggier elric um quick question um so what's the makeup is there like this is just like a room and there's a hallway here just so i know yeah so these are windows obviously uh i tried to just yeah, yeah. that fact uh there is yeah. a door here and a door here I'm going to walk up here and ready in action to see if something just comes charging through the door to fucking smack him with Graham. Oh, wait. Calisti, how is... How did that happen? Uh, my my internet. internet dropped and I just, like, rejoined and saw that we were in the middle of combat. Oh. Okay. So I missed some stuff. <laughs> uh, pretty much okay. they chased an invisible guy, kicked out a door... And I brought the initiative tracker up. And oh, Jackal okay. also just shouted that. Uh, before he shifted, he shouted to the group to watch the to watch the doorway because there might be other escapes. But find a way to cover that. All right, so uh, Elric, I'm sorry, but I missed what you were doing.
Um, basically what I was doing is I walked 30 feet and ready in action to fucking smack someone with Graham if they got close. Alright. Well, since they were both invisible, they are going oh. to take their actions first. As they sneak up behind you. I took the dodge actions. So that's for Jackal. Oh, that was GM roll. How, why is this constantly GM roll? Settings! Vice for toggle. Advantage toggle. Uh, so does he have advantage because I took the dodge or? Uh, he does not, so this one's going to you. Hmm, that hits. All right, but Rowan, the second you saw somebody attack, you can now shoot at him. Fucking shoot him, Gator. Gator, Gator, Gator. Do, 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 do. A uh, normal arrow, by the way. Um, hello. I clicked. Oh, give it a second. It, oh, there we go. oh, that's a crit. <laughs> you got that crittin'. cool thing. You got that cool thing, Emo Bobber. So, uh, Rowan, how uh, how do you react when you just see uh? An entity appear in front of you and stab Jackal in the in the lower back. Oh wait, who did I? <gasps> no, wait, who did I shoot? The guy who just stabbed Jackal. Okay, cool. I was not okay. Yeah, that's who I shot. Um. <laughs> hey, I, 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 that was the chance. Since you crit, I give you a little chance to flavor it. I mm -mm, I don't flavor. I am bland, so you do that. <laughs> Okay, mm -mm. so uh, Rowan had walked into the room, her bow ready, and as uh, as Elric stops, her eyes twitch over to see Jackal, and even before it becomes uh, it becomes visible, she's already drawing because she sees the dust move, as she fires and lays an arrow right into this this thing's spine, dealing a significant amount of damage to it. The other one is going to attack Elric at advantage. Oh, my assholes. <laughs> um, that might miss. Hold on, I gotta check my AC. That hits. Damn. Alright, dealing seven piercing damage as he just, again, just same exact tactic as they did with Jackal. They just stab you in the lower back, but for you, it's still kind of more like ass. Because they can't reach that high. And if I remember right, you had a ready to action as well. Oh, yes. You have made a mistake. Never mind. That misses. I'm too busy getting stabbed in the ass. As you trim its mohawk. <laughs> Callisti. Okay, first let me unmute. Uh... Let's see. Uh, let's see. I guess I would have seen the one that just stabbed Jackal first, so... Probably gonna do a bit of the old-fashioned here. Alright. And botch it. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, it streams over its head and uh, smashes it into the wall next to it. Right. It was the whole pulling up the stocking still thing. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's so oh shit. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the door to the south, or the, the north opens. As this guy uh, pops out, and he. Seeing uh, Rowan back there is going to throw a javelin at her. Does a 15 oh, yeah. hit you? Oh, yes. 
So you will be taking four piercing damage as uh, you, uh, as this one just th opens the door and throws this javelin right at you. Oh, uh, that will be oh. his turn. Uh, and then right after that, the door to the south opens. Oh. And this guy with a short bow. Yes. He's going to accidentally close his sheet because he is a dum dum. <laughs> He's like, fuck <laughs> this, close his door. <laughs> <laughs> and there are a lot of targets. Uh, one, two, three, pretty much. 76. Go with one. Uh, row it again. Shoot. That's exactly what yes, he's going to do. Yes, that's what he's doing. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what he's going to do, hopefully. Does uh, a 10 misses you? It does. Oh, wait. Sorry, I had a react. And I didn't realize I had one. What reaction would you have had? Hellish rebuke. Uh, I, I was trying will, to read faster than let, it is. I happening. will let you use it, because it is one of your newer spells. Okay, um, I'm just gonna put. Oh shit, what did I do? Actually, do I just. Pull it? Technically, Rowan has had this entire her entire life, but. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hold on, wait. So I, I go to the main, and then. And then. Yes. It's under my attacks? Okay. Some fancy sorcerer powers cut you in. Uh, cast at level one. Level two, I think. Um. Okay. Well, it, it no. should it should say. No, because at level We're... two, I got my level one spells, right? No, 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 no. It would be in your yeah. tiefling thing. We're level two. It's only level one. Yeah. Oh, so okay. cast if I at level one. Correctly. Yeah. So let when... me just open up her sheet because I'm pretty I already sure did tieflings it. automatically cast at level two. Yeah, I'll just Infernal do Legacy. Comments. Yeah, yeah, you can cast the Hellish Rebuke spell as a second level spell once. Yes, oh. but she has to be oh. a third level, though. Okay. When you reach third level. Okay. So well, since I you're did not, it as normal. Yeah, since you're not third level, you can't cast this spell yet. Yep. At all? Unless you yes. have it as a ranger. Oh, that's. I sweet. thought it was. Well. Yeah. Uh, uh, open up your we sheet. We added this together. <laughs> yeah, just so you it's, would have it for the future. But open yeah. up your sheet, and I, I even I already enlarged it. You know the thaumaturgy cantrip. When you reach third level, you can cast the hellish rebuke spell. Core, Ooh. infernal legacy. In the features Where? and traits. And when you become fifth level, you get another thing, oh. and. This is all so confusing. Just skip my turn. Just kill me. <laughs> oh. No, it's just a learning experience. Don't worry. I mean, yeah, yep, it's, it's, worry. it's just reading. It's fine. Uh, but unfortunately, no, you can't cast it yet. But when you next level, you'll be able to cast it. Okay. Although oh. that is a sweet maxed out damage right there. Mm. Yeah. God damn. Oh, I feel bad. God damn it, Jeebus. Alright, Zephyr. And you should. Rude boy. <laughs> okay. So if I suddenly show up in here, is that enough time to react and toss something? Well, you, you know your no, friends no. are fighting. <laughs> okay. Quick, flank him on the side and go through the window. <laughs> right through the window! Go, go, go! That is an option. Hold on. Trackpad, not wanting to do what I want it to do. Hold on. It's going slow. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, as soon as I get here, I am going to produce a lovely little flame in my hand. I still don't. Do I just do I just click? 
the actual so thing. So don't get off your spells page. Go to your core page. And it should be okay. in the attacks. I think we did this. Damn it, we didn't do this. Give me like... Oh wait, no, there it is! Hey! There we go. Uh, who are you hitting? Um... So I got further than I thought I would, so... Ever Hold on. You can see Not him. everybody. It's 30 feet, though. Okay. So I'm gonna throw it straight at this friend. Uh, okay. That one, uh, it, that definitely hits. Takes two fire damage. All right. And we're back up at the top at Rowan. Um, I'ma just, um, I'm actually, I don't even know. Um, I'm not gonna shoot. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit, hit shoot that guy. All right, uh, Rowan, you actually now that you see him, you remember this guy. You were in the archery competition with him. Oh, so I I let's hope I'm still better. <laughs> Wait, did he <laughs> he did he win? This is the one that won. Oh shit! It's okay. I'll be better. Round two, fight. I. Oh, okay. Nope. Well, that hits, so... Oh. <laughs> stop, uh... My granny can shot me better! Stop, uh... <laughs> stop, stop, get, get your butt out of your butt! <laughs> do you have a bonus action you want to do? Mm, no. Nope. Alright, uh, Jackal, you have been stabbed in the back! Yeah, he depleted my temporary health points, so... <laughs> Good thing I had a little extra padding, though that. Jackal's going to turn around, and he's going to look very angry. And oh, he's shit. going to bite. Uh, that hit, stealing six piercing damage. Uh-oh. Oh, All no. right, everybody. Unfortunately, I have been called into work. Oh, no. Hello. So we will unfortunately be ending it here. Um, this is a great place to start next week. But I do unfortunately... The, the worst part about being on call is yes. that I'm on call. Yeah.